Here are the horses for the next race, the seventh event. First elimination with the uh, front three qualifying for the final. And here they are for race seven. One is Respect My Authority, owned by Jennifer Lappy of Riverton. Richard Lappy, the trainer, Andy Miller on the bike. Two Holly Hill Eagle, owned by Gary Garrell of Newton. Gary, the trainer, with Rick Garrell in the bike. Three, Trotton Master, owned by Gene Wozak of Downers Grove. Kathy Ruthford trains. Gene Wozak is up. Four, Hasty Roan, owned by Jay and Homer Hochstetler of Crete. Homer Hochstetler, the trainer driver. Five, Yankee Partner, owned by Paul and Sue Phillips of Charleston. Paul Phillips trains will drive. Six is Harmony Oaks Tyler, owned by Walter and Tyler Butenshane of Marengo. John Butenshane trains. Dave McGee gets the call. Seven, Rocky Fedora, owned, trained, and driven by Granite City's Red Clark. And number eight, Fox Grape, owned by Bobby Dexter of Paducah, Kentucky. Lyle McGilvery, the trainer. And Gary Mills, the driver. Here they come. They're often trotting on the outside. Hasty Roan for the lead. Outside him out fast as Harmony Oaks Tyler. Respect my authority. I took a couple of anxious steps on the inside. He'll get away third as they drive toward the turn. Holly Hill Eagle will settle fourth on the outside. Racing fifth. Fox Grape moves up as they swing around the turn. Fox Grape now alone on the outside without cover for Mills. Trying to get to the front. Looking for room on the inside. It isn't there as they trot toward the quarter. Led now by Fox, by Harmony Oaks Tyler by a length and a half. On the inside, Hasty Roan getting a trip second, third along the rail respect my authority. Fox Grape Park fourth, fifth on the inside, Holly Hill Eagle, six behind him as Yankee Partner, seven comes to the outside now, Rocky Fedora, and trailing that field of trotters off the turn is Trotton Master, the front panel at 28-2, they're racing down the back stretch, trotting toward the quarter mile mark, being led by a length and a half by Harmony Oaks Tyler. On the outside, Fox Grape going a tough journey, still there, he's third. Second on the inside, Hasty Roan, he's out of trip, covered all the way, and now behind Fox Grape, moving up very quickly as they reach the uh, half mile station is Rocky Fedora trotting fast for Red Clark they pass that mark in 59 seconds they're in the upper turn and Rocky Fedora three wide move sweeping toward the front Rocky Fedora three deep Fox Grape between trotters on the inside the leader Harmony Oaks Tyler fourth no place to go Hasty Roan five on the outside following cover is Trotton Master six on the inside respect my authority he'll need room seven on the outside as they trot toward the uh, three quarter is Yankee Park Gardner, and on the inside, trailing as Holly Hill Eagle. He found himself last at the three-quarter, four in, four out. And at 1.30 and 3, that mark, they turn for home. On the outside, Rocky Fedora has made the lead by a neck. On the inside, Harmony Oaks Tyler is second. Fox Grape on the outside, tiring. Between trotters, respect my authority. Fuller trot, here he comes. Hasty Roan out ahead of him. They almost collide as they trot to the wire. The inside is going to be Harmony Oaks Tyler flying. Respect my authority too late harmony oaks tyler home a winner respect my authority second holly hill eagle from way way back was in a photo for third with hasty roan five was rocky oh, fedora and went to europe to represent this country in the international driving competition in germany he came back as the champion he had won previously a national driving title he added to that an international driving title illinois dave mcgee And now with trainer John Butenshane, here's Dave McGee. And he has guided Harmony Oaks Tyler to that win. This trotter owned by Walter and Tyler Butenshane of Marengo. Bred by Walter Butenshane, a three-year-old in the winner's circle right now by Raza's man, campaigning in the same stable a number of years ago from the speedy crown mother, Flory's Lady. So trainer John Butenshane, who has the star of his stable yet to go, off to a good tune in just a moment as soon as the truck passes to Kurt Becker. Kurt? All right, thank you, Carl. And we have Jackie Boot and Shane, John's wife, and we have their son, Tyler, with us as well, the namesake of uh, Harmony Oaks Tyler. Jackie, let's we'll start with you. Of course, uh, you folks have Plesak here, who looks like a heavy, heavy favorite in a later elimination of this race. How about this one, though? Did this surprise you? Yeah, he kind of fell apart on us this spring, just got sick and lost weight and didn't look real good, but he's come back better and... He still can't get anywhere close to please act, but much better than we thought. He did good. I tell you what, holding anybody to the please act standard is pretty lofty. Tyler, how old are you? Ten. Now, I know your mom and dad have been real busy, but have they uh, taken time to take you around the fair yet? 
No. <laughs> oh, my. Are we going to do that, Jackie? Yes. yes, we will. Okay, we'll let you get back to race. Please sack. Congratulations. Jackie and Tyler Boot and Shane, back up to Carl.